what you are looking at is um, a laser beam that's been reflected to a distance of about 70 feet. And it is at about a 30 degree, degree angle to the mirror itself. And there's a crack in the mirror. And so the beam is refracted quite a few times. And you'll see the vertical lines that indicate this. The bright spot is reinforced waves. Waves that pile on one another, meaning at the same place. Um, the uh, dark waves that you see, that is where waves cancel out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add pressure to the jack. And this image is going to change altogether. And then after it changes, I'll release the um, pressure on the jack. And it will reassume this general shape or form or, or design. It won't be exact because when I force the uh, rod into the lead, the rod won't return to the exact same point. Also, I'm not going to exert 20 tons pressure on the rod because when I do that, it just goes up into the lead and um, it, it doesn't return the way it should be. There's not enough lateral pressure on the lead to force the rod back out. So let's see what happens. The, the tube holding the swing with a lead weight on it is a form of a gravimeter. It's real sensitive to vibration. Even though it's seated on the cement, the vibration of walking and pumping up the bottle jack can cause vibrations. A car passing on a road about 100 feet away, that can cause vibrations also. So um, it looks like it's quavering a little bit and um, it's just part of the natural vibrations of this time of day. The force of gravity is a very weak force and it takes a while for this force, even though the uh, compressed lead is, is near the swing, it takes a while for the swing to react to this weak force. What the swing is doing, um, the uh, monofilament acts as a resistance to this force and it is pulling against um, the monofilament in a matter of torsion, which is a twist. Um, so it, it takes a few minutes for this to get twisted around so that there's a radical difference in pattern design.
I'm not sure how well you're going to see this when it's displayed digitally. Um, I don't know how clearly you're going to see this. But there's an increase of line number on the bright spot to the left that goes to the back. And the, um, the vertical lines have increased in clarity. Now, when I release the pressure, we'll see that this reverts back to what um, we saw in the beginning. Okay, the pressure has been released. Now these uh, li these uh, vertical lines are going to change, and the um, the line number at the bright spot to the left is going to decrease and return back to uh, what it was in the beginning. I don't think I use more than three or four pound or tons of pressure this time on the uh, on the rod